You fixing your titties? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, babies. So, right before I click the button to start filming, my mom, baby, decided to fart. It sounded like a fart that just came out her stomach. I don't know, it did like a... We never heard that before. Yeah, we... But yeah, look, my mommy's pregnant. 22 weeks. 22 weeks. It's a boy. She picked the name that I wanted. I wanted Jaden, but we don't know how to spell it. So maybe if y'all want, y'all can comment below different ways to spell it. People were saying like J-A-Y-D-N or J-A-I-I-D-N or J-A-D-E-N. Like they had a whole bunch of ways. And what do you think about Carmen was telling me about because I liked the Yomar too. She, she Yomar. 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 Like your ma, like your no, ma. Your mar. You see how it sounds like your ma. <laughs> <laughs> so she said to put Jaden Jomar. Oh, that sounds nice. Jaden Jomar. Jomar. I like that. Yeah, we Puerto Ricans use arroz. But hi, babies. Um, so I'm here with my mommy. Um, I wanted to just do a video with her because. Um, we spoke about this before and we were just talking about like when I was younger and we was reminiscing when I was little when we lived in Philly and uh, We were just talking about a whole bunch of funny stories and I know y'all love story time So, you know, what's better than to do story time with my mommy? Mm -hmm. Even though she's 22 weeks and she's tired and everything I told her I was like mommy come on you you gotta be happy like have a little energy for the video so <laughs> But all right I feel like the first story we have to tell them about when I was little was the store. Oh my God, why that one? <laughs> I just remembered it. Yo, you tell them. Um, Cause I remember. Oh, we used to live in the bottom. So we already knew that the window- It, it was like a two- open, open like that real quick. It was like a so two floor So we was apartment. over there, like we didn't have no money. We wanted munchies and we, it was like one of those apartments, like a, a townhouse where you live in the bottom. No, you, we lived in the top floor, the second floor, but the bottom floor. Yeah, but we floor, used to live in the bottom before and then they turned it into a store. Oh yeah, and then we moved to the second and then you said that the bottom floor, they, they turned into a store. And um, so she knew how to get through the window. So, cause they never fixed it. So you know, so she we wanted put Jose, munchies. we put Jose through the window so he could grab everything he could find, and then the chips was right there, and then the cigarettes was right there. I used to smoke um cigarettes then for that time, and Jose helped us. Um, and then we was like, <laughs> how just, old was I? I remember doing it too. I was I, little. You was little. You and I remember. Like two or three. And I remember all this. That's why I'm telling her like we was young, you know, nothing to do, and we was. She literally held me by my little legs <laughs> and put me through the window so I could grab all the chips and cigarettes oh, and stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> so it was like a, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> um, what else? Um, oh my god, the time that I escaped from the house, I remember. I decided to escape from the house from a skateboard. Yeah, since he was little, he always used to jump the, the, the thing that you put oh, for the, the kids. For they can't escape, I would jump over it. Yeah, so I he just... always used to jump over. One time he jumped over and he just left with us. A skateboard and he was down the block he was like <laughs> yeah like three years old he was he was so small that's how you feel right now one time he put powder all over the house <laughs> oh yeah she said like my he little... didn't have nothing else to do all over and then we had rugs and stuff so he put powder <laughs> all over the house and it was just his prints his yeah she prints. said my little footprints were all, all over. over the place oh my god or the time that you broke your leg remember yeah. she was mopping mopping and then somebody and beeped the horn and i went to look outside see being on no see who was beeping the horn and i forgot that i had this bad habit i put in the um the to, the liquid to clean the floor in the floor and then get the mop oh, but i do that too like you yeah, just throw it on the floor yeah, but then i forgot and it was a uh, mr lean it was this the the slip the real um oh. you know that one is um i got a lot of soap and i just she slipped and I remember up, eating and I cereal my leg. in the kitchen when she broke her leg and she fell behind me and her leg was broken yeah, and she was like was yeah and she goes Bebo get your dad and I was laughing I was like ha, 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 ha. and my mom's like Bebo get your fucking dad and I was just like ha, ha. I, didn't, I thought it was I didn't know what was going on it was little yeah you see me in the floor there like and I was just ha, ha. or the time that she was using the toilet and she decided to throw her cigarette in the garbage can and it lit up yeah, in flames. Yeah, I thought I turned it off, but I didn't. You know, there's something I stay on. 
and just started. I'm just, I just saw the fire, and I'm like, Bebo, because I call him Bebo. And I was like, Bebo, get water, get water. He just did like this with his hands like this. He's not gonna be like this. <laughs> That's I was like, Are you serious? I was a demon. The no, fact he that was bad. when he was little, he was he was bad. Oh, I used to love doing. My mom said when I was little, um, oh, I shaved my nipples off. Um, he I, his eyebrows, he shaved his leg. I couldn't leave shaver in the bathroom. See. It's one of <laughs> it's this nipple. It can't get to hard. He shaved everything. Since he was little, he was Yeah, I shaved my nipple off. Literally, and my mom says she put it up and put then you say you put tape on it? Yeah. How the fuck you put tape on it so it doesn't fall off? And look, my nipple can't get hard no more. Like this one can't get hard. This one can. So I guess like I cut the nerves off. That yeah. yo, I been through. Much. I remember I tried cutting my thumb off. I shaved my eyebrows. His um, hair. My hair. We have and I, I used to wear hats like this. And every time people were um were like uh come and they'll be like, oh so my, cute. You're I'll so do this. Cute. And then I'll do this. Yeah. <laughs> he was. He was. Of all of them, he was the worst I was one. Evil. When he was little, but he was so cute. It was like I was an evil little cute person. Oh my god! What else? What else? What else? Um. The, the one day, one time, me and his father was, me and his father was abusive. You know, I, I he was. And one time, me, me and his father was hitting me, and I was trying to fight back like always, but um. Oh, Jose, and then Zay. I found his gun. Because his father always used to carry stuff like that. He had them in the house. And he had them in a small closet that you had to do what's hidden like that. And the closet used to open. And I don't know how the hell Jose went and got the freaking gun. <laughs> and literally they said. And he was just like. I pointed the gun to them to tell them to like stop. Said, you, he was trying to tell his father to stop, you know. To leave me alone. I was a bad. And um, thank God the the gun had the lock. The safety lock. The safety lock. I would have fucking because... killed my parents. And we was like, put it down. As soon as we saw what was going on, the Jose had it. He was like, put it down. Put it down. Put it down. And he like took it off for him. But um, he always wanted to defend mommy. Yo. Because he knew. He was little, but he knew what was going on. Yo, you know what's that? Was I had wrong. a fucking gun to my father and mom. Like, yo. Either you stop or you're getting shot. <laughs> like, oh my god. I remember um <clears throat> mama with that she used to always um make me dress up as a clown. Yeah, she so used I to say, always make your costumes that you hated that clown costume. You just hated it. He went under the table and he was Yeah, I used to hide under so the table mad. and I used to always just do this to everyone. That was my favorite thing, just Oh my god. What else? I remember um all the time that you left me alone with um oh i left him alone with his father and i went to dunkin donuts with the girls you know i was young i always wanted to hang out for that time and he was sleeping and his father was sleeping so we just left to dunkin donuts when i freaking come back the cops are in the freaking house and i remember this i i remember I remember, like, specifically, literally, um, my dad leaving, and I remember no one was in the house, and I was going crazy. So His I father remember left them in the house by myself, and I remember going out the window, and I remember seeing these two ladies crossing one the street. One of them was my friend, and I remember screaming out the window, "Help me! I'm alone!" So I remember going downstairs, opening the door for the strangers, and literally letting them in. And my mom came home. There was mad police in the house, yeah. and I was literally sitting on the lady's lap, just like, mm -hmm. "Hi, mommy." Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yo, know, I was a troublemaker. Oh, the time that um, believe it. what else? Uh, the time they robbed the house. Yeah, you could tell you that story. I kind of remember, and not really. Yeah, so. he was. He was because we used for that time. Remember, we talking about all this stuff that we talking about. We used to live in the top. We used to live in the top floor. And the and the and the bottom. That we used to live in the bottom. We used to live in the bottom floor. In the first floor. But we so, moved to the um, top. I was cleaning. I remember cleaning. I had a shirt, just a shirt on, and just you know my underwears on. Oh, and I was just cleaning. Look at you trying to be all sexy. The house. His father just finished getting home like around six in the morning because he always used to be in the street. So um. I heard this boom. I had the music loud, you know, but not that loud. I heard this boom sound, but you know, I had two doors, the first one and then the second one. The second one was open. The first one, that's the one that they kick. So I'm over here, finished cleaning when I see these three guys. One was skinny, one was um, 
like medium. The other one was real. He was real um big. And um I was like, I thought it was his friends because his friends always used to come like, yo, yo, this is a stick up, like always playing around like that. So I thought it was one of them. It was this, he had this cousin over there that he had this bad habit of always scaring me and coming to the house like that. But um, when these guys went in, I couldn't believe what was going on. The first thing that came through my mind was like, this, his father was like, this guy did something else out there to somebody and they coming for payback. That's what I thought. So, but what they thought in Philly, usually the houses are two floors. You go to one and it's like a whole, you know. It's like a town. It's like a, a, like a, a, a town whole house. Apartment. So that's, that's what they thought when they went in the house. They was looking for the, um, this person that used to live upstairs. They thought going in my house, they was going to be able to find the person. And he was asking me for this guy. And I'm like, no, he doesn't live here. So, um, I was like. They put the music louder, put the shower on. And um, but before that, they went in the room that his father was sleeping. He just finished getting home. He was sleeping. They hit him with the gun in the head. They knocked him out and put tape in his face and his hand and they laid him in the floor. And I thought it was gonna kill him. That's why I thought that, that he had done something. So I couldn't believe what was going on. And Jose was just like walking around the house, like, you know, like he don't know what, he was little for that time, he was smaller. I remember you bought, you just he finished like buying me. Two, he was like two years old. I remember you just finished buying me the Nintendo 64. Yeah. And um, they just put the music loud, the, the shower on. And um, they started asking for drugs. They were, I was like, I, was, I don't know what you're talking about, with, you know? So, um, they kept them, you know, he was telling me, we, um, if you're not the person, because I thought it was going to kill me, he was like, if you're not the person that we were looking for, um, that we were looking for, we're going to leave you alone. But it was the, the big one, the real big one, the fat one, he was so freaking mean. He was mean, like, he wanted to do something to me. And it was this other one that, you know, they was robbers and everything, but one of them was a nice. He was like, um, he was like, don't worry, um. I'm not gonna let them do nothing to you. Just um, do what we tell you, and um, everything is gonna be okay. If you're not the person that we're looking for, we're gonna leave you alone. They have masks on, and um, the very big one put the gun in my mouth, and he was like, "Don't fucking look at me, you bitch." Yeah. He put that shit in, and I was like, "Oh my god!" But they didn't put tape on me or nothing yet. I was just like, um, he was like, sit right there. I said, we're sitting in the living room. And then one of them was playing the games with me. Yeah. I remember that. He was that. telling me, um. I remember a, a guy with a mask on. The, the Nintendo. He was just playing. Like he wanted to know how to play. They didn't took the the, the no. Nintendo because it was yours. I guess they figured it was a little kid. But they took, um, like my, my, my earrings, the gold that they found. His father had a gun. They, they hide the gun in, in, that's how small you was. You had like the little thing where you put the diapers, you know, that you put the diapers like that. They hid the gun there in the keys. And um, we couldn't find the freaking keys after they, whatever. But um, they was breaking the wall to get to the other side. They was there a while trying to get to the other place because they was looking for drugs. They was looking for the guy upstairs. I guess he deal with all that stuff. So, um, they just were just making a big mess in the house, kept them digging for everything. And, um, this shit is tiring to do this. <laughs> and, um, Jose was uh, the my my what I have out of my mind was like, this is gonna be my end. I was like, I'm gonna they're gonna take Babel, I was like, gonna take Jose for some reason. I thought it was gonna take him, I don't know why. And they was gonna kill me and they was gonna kill his father. That's what I thought that was gonna happen. So they waited, it was there for a while, a while. When I mean a while, they was there like for two hours. Just trying to break the wall. And when they break the first wall and they realized they couldn't go to the to the other to the other wall to go upstairs, they decided they was gonna leave. So Jose um was just there in the living room with me and he see me crying and he used to like <laughs> clean my my tears away because I was trying to keep calm. I didn't want it to but when I know they was gonna leave I was like these guys are gonna leave and they're gonna kill us. He was like if we come back I was like if you call the cops they told him, if you call the cops we will be back the guy told us or well, they told me. and um 
I was like, no, 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 no. So when they put the tape in my mouth and they put the tape in my eyes, I was Stupid like, school I was like, this, that's it. I started praying, starting asking God to forgive me for everything that I done, cause I thought it was gonna be my last day. And um, now they, as soon as um, they they just did a mess, they just freaking left. When they left, they left the door open. Did they hit you with the gun or no? No, no, they, they no, hit they the hit father, my father. Okay. The father for the gun. Oy, and, that um, chills. But it, it's just it's terrible when something like that. And I started having nightmares and stuff. And then you know what was the biggest when thing? They, as soon as they left, the cops came. And someone called. But you know. What and was... I was like, I was like, no, 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 I don't want to report. I don't know who saw them leaving. I don't know what happened, how it happened. But as soon as they left, the fucking cops got to the house. And then um. And my, then I couldn't believe it. I was like, these guys are going to come back. No, no. I was like, no, no, no. I don't want to press charges. I don't know who they were. Nothing, nothing. Leave, 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 leave. And, you know, if you don't want to press charges, no matter what happened, they leave. And they left. But before that, um, as soon as they left, Jose, the first thing that he did was went outside, like always. They found me the outside. Was open. So, Yo, um, I always wanted to be terrible. out. It was That was a real bad thing. But then, experience. you know what was the thing? Um, couple days later. And the Puerto Rican parade. She, the guys that broke into the One house. One of them. I was in the car. She recognized him. I was in the car. Um, because he was real big. And he had an afro. And, you know, he just had this. But, you know, the look in his eyes. It was like this. That's why people cover freaking, their eyes. You know, this mean look. The one that put the gun in my mouth. And, and I was sitting outside because over there for that time you could like sit in the in the window of the car like with your ass out like that and it was all in the puerto rican prairie was there there's chilling and i see this guy real big and those big motorcycles those the ones that got the four the four um, wheels yeah. and i'm like that chilling with the girls and all of a sudden i see this guy so when he saw me he looked twice because he knew who I was. He was like, this, this, this bitch that we just broke into her house. So we went like that both. And as soon as I told him, I, I beep your father because at that time we used to oh, use the beep, first. The beep. Hey. And um, <laughs> his father, well, they was looking for the guy, but they couldn't find him. But the guy upstairs, it was this Dominican guy that used to live upstairs. Oh, I don't know what happened to him. I really don't know because his father went upstairs and messed up the house and I'm going crazy that's probably dumb this guy calling right yeah look at that babes literally yo we've been through hell and back but you sure that's him calling yeah you want me to check yeah you go check that's it mommy thank you for story time mommy okay bye guys <laughs> but all right babies um hopefully you enjoyed story time with mommy and um we literally been through hell and back like there's way more stories and everything um so hopefully in the future she'll be able to like tell them and everything but so much is going on well so much went on i meant um but oh my god uh yo and it's so crazy because i remember these things like i remember everything she's talking about like i remember like actually like little glimpse of it because i have really really good memory so it's like when she says things i'll be like yeah i remember this and she'll be like how do you remember oh look at chichi she woke up oh she wants to lay down right there but um all right babies i hope y'all enjoyed story time and i love you all so much make sure to like comment um your favorite part of this and um yeah babies thank you all so much for watching i love you all so much and yeah till next time bye babies <laughs>